Bristol, Councillor Mawson. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against, carried. <coughs> Moving on to our agenda items. And first up, we have <coughs> the committee and portfolio responsibilities for the 2022-2025 triennium, um, which I will be presenting today as I'm the one that has made the decisions around the appointments. Um, I would just like to note, please, that we have got a, a slight amendment and addition, being a additional external appointment to the Waipuriku Waitangi Trust, and we have a letter here to table from the Trust seeking uh, a Napier City Council representative on this trust. This is the trust that organises our annual Waitangi Day um, celebrations. And uh, they have requested a representative, and I have appointed Councillor Bogue to that. So that's a slight uh, amendment to the schedule that was in the original agenda item. So on that note, there is just a slight um, adjustment to the resolutions as well to uh, accept the, the amended schedule. Uh, so as is outlined in the paper, there are a number of factors to be considered when establishing the committee and portfolio responsibilities. Uh, this includes the work required of, of council and councillors, the impacts on the roles and responsibilities of the elected members and officer resourcing required. Other important considerations for this triennium has been succession planning and building capacity uh, within elected members whilst ensuring these, those that are new to the leadership roles receive support in these new leadership roles. Appointments have also been made to align with elected members' areas of interest and skill sets, and we are fortunate to have a breadth of experience with our, in our team with many returning councillors, so it has been great to be able to tap into this. A new senior chair role has been created this term to provide support to myself and the Deputy Mayor in the areas of growth, infrastructure and planning because we do know that we have uh, a significant amount of work ahead of us this term in those areas. Councillor Price has been appointed to this role. I have retained the same committee structures with our four committees. These have worked well uh, over the last triennium and align with our operating directorates, so provide a direct relationship between the chairs and the directors of those areas. Portfolios have also remained the same, except for the removal of three waters. And no, that's not because we may be at risk of losing three waters. Uh, we're certainly still advocating for that to remain with us. However, I have um, spent some time reflecting on the primary purpose of portfolios uh, after their introduction last term. And for me, the role of the portfolios this triennium is to focus on our external relationships and developing networks and connections within the many community groups and organisations that align to councillors' individual portfolios. And Three Waters is primarily an internal focus and so is not really required with this slight redefinition of those portfolio roles. Uh, so I will leave it and that, at that and open up for any questions. There being no questions, could I have a mover and seconder, please? Thank you, Deputy Mayor Brosnan and Councillor Price. Did you wish to speak to that? <coughs> um, thank you, Mayor Wise. I'll, I'll speak briefly to the paper. Um, mainly, I think, to commend you on what I think is um, a very difficult puzzle to put together when uh, you have um, such a broad set of skills and experience that uh, our community give us and elected members in trying to find places and spaces for everyone to thrive and to grow and <coughs> to cover all of the, the very many challenges and opportunities that we have this term in front of us. So um, I would like to congratulate everyone um, on the roles and the portfolios they've been given. I think it was a very, very difficult task to do. So mm -hmm. thank you for your work in, in that. Um, and I had the privilege of being part of of helping some of the navigating some of those um, those roles and positions, and I think our community from this can see that there is um, 
a really great group of people who are ready to go out there and be embedded in the community and in their groups and we are here to listen and to bring forward in the committee structures that we have um, all of the issues that are important to them. So um, I think this really does support us and set us up for um, a, a performance of a great term. So thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Brosnan. Councillor Price, do you wish to speak to that? I'll reserve my right. Okay, I'll open up to the floor for anyone to speak to the motion. I've got a question, Madam Mayor. Um, I was just wondering through you, Madam Mayor, how things are progressing with the Ngāma Nukunuku or Te Iwi Committee? So after extensive consultation with Mana Whenua and all of our key iwi partners, um, I have made changes, as you would see from the paper, in terms of the representation on that group. Uh, and that has been uh, endorsed by our Council Komatua, Piri Prentice, uh, and, and as I said, you know, a number of our other key iwi partners. So we uh, have made a change to having uh, representatives from each of the seven marae uh, that either Whakapapa or our urban marae Pukimukimuki uh, here in Ahuriri uh, each have a representative as do our two um, PSGEs, uh, Manu Ahariri and Mangaharu Tangatu, uh, and also our Council Komatua has a, a, a voting role on that committee now, alongside myself and the four chairs. So we are currently finalising the terms of reference for that committee, as we are for all committees, in fact. You'll note that in the paper, one uh, part of the resolution is to direct council officers to go away and review all of our terms of reference and they will come uh, back to us early next year for adoption. Councillor Price. Uh, that's all, thanks. Excellent. Uh, there being no further speakers to the motion, I will put that. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? I'll abstain. Abstain. Please have it recorded. Carried. Thank you, everyone. Moving on to our second agenda item being the 2022 and 2023 Council and Committee meeting schedule. And again, we do just have um, a follow the following amendments to this for the Audit and Risk Committee and the Ahuriri Regional Park Joint Committee on the 9th of November uh, and 9.30am for the Audit and Risk and 1pm for the Regional Park Joint Committee. And we have Anna here to talk to the paper and answer any questions. Kia ora koutou. Um, this report is fairly explanatory. Sorry, Anna, if you could just oh, pull sure, the... Sorry. Thank you. Um, kia ora. Uh, this report is fairly explanatory. Um, it's just to present the proposed 2023 meeting schedule and the two amendments that um, Mayor Wise has just pointed out to the 2022 meeting schedule for adoption. Um, I'll take the report as read. I'm happy to answer questions. Any questions from councillors? No. Could I have a mover and seconder, please? Thank you, Deputy Mayor Brosnan and Councillor Brown. Did either of you wish to speak to that? No? no. I'll put the motion. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you, Anna. Agenda item three is elected members remuneration update and we have Caroline Thompson here to speak to the paper. Thank you. So this report um, presents the proposed allocation of the 2022-25 post-election remuneration pool set by the REM authority for the next city councillors. The total REM pool, or the remuneration pool for um, the 22-23 year is 802,000. The REM Authority makes a new determination each financial year. And the uh, recommended option is that the um, proposed allocation be endorsed. Um, it's been developed in line with the rules advised by the Remuneration Authority and reflects a variety of responsibilities held by the different members of the Council. Thank you, Caroline. Open up for any questions. Deputy Mayor Brosnan. Thank you, Carolyn. Could you just um, 
confirm for me when the resolution talks about the post-election remuneration partial pool? Could you confirm what's meant by that? Uh, so partial pool, as in, um, it doesn't cover an entire financial year. So our um, council financial year begins from the 1st of July. Um, but the elected um, members' remuneration starts from the day that they were elected into council. Perfect, thank you. Any further questions? Could I ask for a mover and seconder, please? Thank you, Councillor Crystal. Councillor Crown, did you wish to speak to that? No, I think it's quite self explanatory. <laughs> uh, open up for anyone else who may wish to speak to it. No, I'll put the motion then. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried. Next up, we have the establishment of a register of pecuniary interests and appointment of a registrar. And again, Caroline. Thank you. So this is uh, something new um, and um, relates to elected mem members' pecuniary interests. And the report is seeking approval for the appointment of the Deputy Chief Executive, Executive Director Corporate Services as the registrar. Um, so just noting that the um, requirements to... Um, complete the, re the register um, only relates to elected members. Um, and then just pointing out the two broad categories of information that is required from the elected members is um, any information relating to um, an elected member's position as a business owner, employee, trustee, or and or information relating to um, the elected member's activities as recipients of gifts or payments and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you, Caroline. And, and I guess just um, a comment from me, although this is a new requirement under the Local Government Act, we have in fact been, from my recollection, doing this the whole time I've been on council for the last nine years anyway. So yes, we have. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good, thank you. Councillor Taylor. Um, Caroline, is there a requirement in relation to spouses? Uh, Councillor Bogue. Very Madam Mayor. Um, is there a requirement for, is this any different from what we previously had to follow? Uh, it's, it's more formalised, like before we, we didn't have an actual registrar appointed. Okay. Um, so that's what we're formalising here. And um, we're um, putting in place a um, register which will be continually updated. So will that require, this require councillors who've got shares to list those? in that register, because the previous one did. Um, I, think, I think it's only if it is shares where you are technically a business owner. So it's not if you've got an investment portfolio, where you have to be a, a shareholder with a controlling interest, has always been my understanding of what we need to declare. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, if you're not sure at all, um, just contact us and we'll... We'll make sure we find out. Any further questions? Could I please have a mover and seconder? Thank you, Deputy Mayor Brosnan and Councillor Taylor. Either of you wish to speak to it? No, thank you. No. Um, I'll put the motion. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried. And now on to our Acting Chief Executive's report, and I welcome Richard Minnicker. It's not your first council meeting as you um, ran our triennial, but welcome back for your second council meeting, and I'll pass over to you. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Um, yes, look, I, I'll take the um, report as read. Um, I just wanted to uh, really thank all the staff and the um, ELT in particular um, for, I think, what's been a really solid quarter uh, for the council. Um, and um, I think that, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of projects on the go um, and uh, I think uh, we had a great weekend uh, the, other, the other weekend too with 660 and a whole lot of other stuff that was happening around the city and, um, yeah, it's a real privilege to um, be able to present the report to you um, and, um, yeah, I, I feel like um, that the whole council team has done a really good job over the last uh, quarter. Thank you. Thank you. We open up for any questions. Councillor Bogue. Um, through you, Madam Mayor. 
Um, it's pleasing to see the housing register, the social housing register figures on page 30. Um, there is a, a trend to de of declining numbers of people on that social housing register. And I was able to find also the September figures for Napier. So the trend continues. The September figures were 732. So we've gone down from March 801, June 774, and um, September 732, and that's also reflected in the national figures as well. So the building that's being done is starting to have impact on people in the housing, social housing register. Any further questions? Councillor Crown. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, just a question around the Government, central government consultations. It's great to have a list of them and for us to see what's coming up on the horizon. Um, can you give us an indication of what sort of internal resource um, is dedicated to our input on those or how, what the trigger is in regards to perhaps what we submit on and, and, and how we're making those decisions? Um, yes, uh, through, the, through your worship. I, I think um, it's a quite a complex question, that one. Um, for a number of reasons. Firstly, some of the things that are coming through um, have very short return periods. Um, so in other words, you have to respond quite quickly to them. I can't even get it through a council cycle necessarily. Um, so those ones tend to go straight to um, the, uh, I guess, the portfolio areas. Um, and if they are a technical thing, like uh, often I'll give the example, I'll use one that I'm familiar with, which is the, uh, in the Building Act. Um, it's, it's probably not for the council table to get involved in kind of technical submissions on whatever it may be in terms of building um, structures and stuff. So that just gets done as a matter of course. Um, there are other ones like we're hearing today with the Local Government Act that are really big pieces of work that we are probably gearing up for, but we also are aware of our res internal resourcing is pretty um, well focused on trying to get our own area um, sorted largely and not waiting for legislative reforms. So um, we are trying to, um, and, and, and um, the Mayor and I have been talking a bit, bit about this, we're trying to be quite tactical about how we approach that. And if we think about these major reforms, particularly local government reform, um, resource management and the water reforms, there's a clear priority around those things that are, that are going through legislative, um, you know, through the House, basically, in terms of being enacted, um, rather than, you know, focusing on the local government reform at the moment. So we know that the Resource Management Act and the water reforms are going to have an impact on the local government reform. So you need to put your effort into responding to the water uh, which is going through right at the moment, the legislation. Uh, the Resource Management Act is about to come through. And um, as those things come through, we totally anticipate that those big uh, high level things in a good order we will bring to you and for your participation to make meaningful submissions into the process. And <coughs> further to that, uh, I have been having conversations uh, with Richard about um, the current process around these consultations and submissions and just having a higher level of visibility for elected members. Obviously, we are getting them come through this chief executive report, and I completely agree that if it's a submission on something quite technical and operational, then it wouldn't be appropriate for us to necessarily be having input into that, but I think it is important that we have visibility. So um, that is something that we're in discussions as to how we can um, bring, bring that forward. <clears throat> I just wanted to make one more comment. There is a tremendous amount of stuff to submit on at the moment as well. Mm. Yeah. 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 Any further questions? Councillor Crystal. Um, mine's not so much a question but an observation. Um, under the service requests, it was really great to see that in the top five reoccurring matters, water, in particular dirty water, does not appear. <laughs> yes, very pleasing. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, on that note, our two new low manganese bores um, are both up and running now. So um, good to be getting the results that we were anticipating. Yes. 
Any other questions from councillors? Uh, there being none, could I have a mover and seconder, please? Thank you, <coughs> Councillor Tariha and Councillor Mawson. Would you like to speak to that, Councillor Tariha? Thank you, Richard. <laughs> I was going to say I'm Christian. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Councillor Mawson. Very comprehensive report. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, any other councillors wish to speak to the paper? Okay, therefore, I will put that. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against. Carried. So moving to our final agenda item being reports under delegated authority and tenders let. And I would just like to comment that, um, of course, it's very exciting to have let our Napier War Memorial restoration project and um, Atkins construction are already on site. And um, I popped down and, and had a look the other day and they are moving at pace. Um, so uh, we'll be keeping the community updated on that project as it progresses. And, and another comment I guess that I just would like to make that um, across the range of contracts that we have had let um, over the, the last um, few months, it's pleasing to see that there's been a number of tenders for across several of them. Um, so we're getting good interest from our uh, construction and service industry and being involved in delivering our council projects, which is really great. So um, I will just open up in case anyone has any questions on any of them. Councillor Taylor. Just in relation to the building warrant of fitness contract, um, how many buildings does that actually relate to? I can just repeat that. So, um, Director of Infrastructure, is it going to have an action to follow up on that and report back to us the volume of buildings that that contract covers? Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions? Could I have a mover and seconder, please? Thank you, Councillor Price and Councillor Crown. Either of you wish to speak to that? Any further councillors? No? So, I'll Put that motion. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against. Carried. We have uh, no public excluded papers today, so if we could please stand uh, for our closing karakia. Kia Thank you, everyone.